Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa if you have never been here before and this is my channel where I talk about all different sorts of plant related things and yeah so in today's video I thought that I was going to start a new series called Meet My Hoya. Um, I was originally going to do a Hoya collection video but I just thought that you guys would rather and it would be more interesting for me to bring in each Hoya or yeah each Hoya once a week or possibly I could do two videos a week like do one Hoya video one other video we'll see how I go everything's a bit stressful at the moment so I might just stick to the one but yeah so I have a large collection of Hoyas so it will go on for a fair while of time so I thought that I would do that if you don't want me to do that or if you have another suggestion please feel free to leave it down in the comment section but if not I'm just gonna keep doing the meet my Hoya series alrighty so first up we have my Hoya polyneura so this Hoya is also known as the fishtail Hoya um, I believe or I have read that it originated or was found in the wild in the Himalayas and India so from that one could assume that it does appreciate a more cool temperature so currently in winter um, it is seated in a room that goes from about minimum 10 degrees and hardly ever hits that probably probably about more 14 degrees and maximum at the moment is about 24 so it doesn't get too warm doesn't get too cold it is in that cool range I would say and he's been doing fine he's not the best goer I know that some people have troubles with him and not that I have troubles he's just not as prolific as I would like he has put out a few like these top sections are the new growth that I have gotten since I received him. I got him in about February this year. So that's not too long. I would say probably about five months. Had him for about five months. And yeah, so he's put out those sets of leaves. Um, I think the main problem that I have with this Hoya, not that it's really a problem, it's more just me being lazy. Um, is that this one doesn't like to be overwatered and he also doesn't really appreciate being underwatered. So the aim is to try and water it as soon as that, as the medium gets bone dry instead of me waiting until, like I do with my other hoyas, I wait until I see signs of dehydration or like crinkling and stuff like that. Whereas him, he probably just needs that water straight away. And as with the thinner leaf hoyas, they probably don't want to be underwatered anyway. Yeah, as well as the temperature, I do have this one sitting in a northeast facing window and he seems to be enjoying that. Um, I have read that if you give this one too much sunlight, it will just um, bleach the leaves. So I'm not really aiming to do that. He is to the side, not directly in the window. So it doesn't receive that direct light, but it is very bright in direct light. So, his colouring, as you can kind of see, um, the colouring of the leaves is quite nice and the veins are prominent. Whereas if he was to get too much sunlight, it would definitely bleach those out. So yeah, that is my Hoya Polyneura. Alrighty guys, so that is Hoya number one from my Meet My Hoya series. If this is sounds like something that you would be interested in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and make sure that you hit the like button as well because that really helps me out. See you in the next one. Bye!